I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I'm here to update my Ruggable rug review I posted about a few months ago. While I was happy with my rugs when I got them, I know some of you out there are wondering about their longevity. I've had mine now for about 10 to 12 months, so I can tell you exactly what you're in for. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. In March, I bought a Ruggable Shag Rug. I'd previously bought two of their regular rugs, and I was pretty happy with them at the time, so I decided to splurge on a Ruggable Shag for my new work-at-home office. I was so confident in the washability of Ruggable that I even went for a white rug, something I would definitely not do with a regular rug because life happens and it definitely happens on a white rug. But with Ruggable, I felt pretty confident. When my Ruggable shag arrived, I was thrilled. It's soft, furry, and provides a really nice base for my new home office. It's been about 10 months now since I bought the shag, and with each month that goes by, I think I'm becoming less and less in love with it, so I thought I'd share my experience in this video update so you know what you're getting if you're shopping for one of these Ruggable shag rugs. The key issue I have with my Ruggable shag rug is that it's starting to get matted, especially in higher traffic areas like the spot under my feet when I'm sitting at my desk. It does kind of start looking a bit like matted fur. I've actually got it here and I'm going to try and show you guys as best I can on the camera. So this is the section here that normally sits under my feet. And you can see I've kind of got little tangled up tentacles and a lot of the spots between those tentacles, hopefully you guys can see this, I'll get you some better shots. Um, but the spots between the tentacles are kind of matted down and almost like cotton ball looking. Um, and by comparison, this is a little used corner of the ruggable shag rug that's sort of protected by a bit of furniture. So two very different textures here of rug. One is kind of matted and tied together. The other is nice and soft and fluffy, but this is the difference. Thinking the matting was just a sign that it needed washing, the first time I put it in the laundry, carefully following Ruggable's washing instructions, which includes using fabric softener. When it comes out now, the tentacle-like mats in the long faux fur fibers are still there. Ruggable suggests you mix up a spray bottle with softener and water and spritz it on the rug and use a pet brush to comb through it to detangle it which I've done the last few times. It works okay, I guess, but it takes a lot of time and multiple passes to get it look like it did when I got it. I'm gonna show you what this looks like here. This has just come out of the wash and literally like an hour ago, and it is still matted significantly across this higher traffic area. Honestly, for a rug that's supposed to be low maintenance, washable, Come on, combing it out every time, that to me is a bit ridiculous. I'd say my Ruggable shag has been washed probably four or five times in the last 10 months, and I'm a bit concerned that it's not gonna look good for much longer. That is frustrating to me, particularly since I spent about 330 Canadian dollars on it. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed with the durability and the longevity of the Ruggable shag rugs, and I would not recommend getting one. When it comes to the other Ruggable rugs I have, the regular two layer ones, those have held up better. I've washed them each numerous times when they get dirty and they still come out looking good. My biggest complaint though with them is that it's almost like they've shrunk a bit. It's now really, really difficult to get the cover to evenly cover that base layer or that under pad without it peeking out from one end or another now. Whereas during my initial lay down, it seemed to actually be a good fit. So that's what you should know if you are considering purchasing a Ruggable rug, particularly the Ruggable Shag rug. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, you can catch me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. And by the way, on social media, I would love to hear about your Ruggable experiences if you'd like to share them. One last thing, if you want to reach me through Facebook, you can always find me there at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.